told you I'd be back. This is the press Eeyore, Final Fantasy VI, let's continue. I want to finish the dungeon. The seconds, they're divisible by 20, which means it's not divisible by 20, which means no 40. And, okay, so that leaves 10 and 50. I suppose 60 also counts. So we'll just hop across here. indoors you will not encounter the Gygus. dance. But she's asleep, apparently. Neat. Okay. Guy blocking our way. Some goggle dax, or whatever they're called. Gold wrench. Like wrench, but stronger. Okay. Safe point. Nope, not safe point. Fire knuckle. Something interesting about Fire Knuckle, which I'll try to show off, hopefully. Randomly cast fire. It also has the fire element to its attack. This can be good or bad, depending on what you're fighting. So if you're fighting things like bombs and you're using this Fire Knuckle, you'll probably heal them with your attacks. But in this case, all I really need is the raw battle paddle excuse me, battle power anyway, so it should be fine. Here, there is nothing, and there is no save point. Yay. That's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and just use my magic. Heal everybody up. That should be good enough. Good day, gentle folks. Can I be of service? I hate fighting, so I better let you pass. Of course, he's a liar, which means he's gonna fight us. And... Dada Luma. Let's start with steel. Jill Ring. Good. He's trying to steal back. That's cute. 512. I'm just go ahead and use all my insanely powerful attacks. 528. Or 529. He uses a potion. Not a big deal. I do a lot more damage. He also uses a tonic. <laughs> okay, he uses lots of healing items. And now his defense power is increased. That 500 damage regular attacks is really speeding up these boss fights. I've actually never killed things this quickly before. Headband. That we don't need. So we're done here.
running shoes, gives haste. Next potion, it's a full heal. Hey look! Uh, guru, guru. Terra? Terra. She's scared, you know. Who are you? This girl is your friend. Is Terra alright? You call her Terra? Terra? How odd. Wee. She is undamaged, but I fear she can't understand you. As for me, I am Ramu. Esper Ramu. Esper? But don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean we don't live here. Uh, don't live here, too. Espers take a variety of forms. Sometimes we live here, taking the shape of humans. You have nothing to fear from us. Why do you hide the fact that you're Espers? Humans and Espers can't survive together. But my grandma told me that espers and people once lived side by side. Was that just a fairy tale? No, that was no fairy tale. That was true, we started out as friends. Then along came the War of the Magi. War of the Magi. It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who were infused with magical powers extracted from espers. Fearing our magical powers would once again become a target, we fashioned a new realm and moved there. About 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon it. Humans who knew about espers and the secret to magic tech power. Thus begun a hunt for espers. Only in this way could Emperor Gestal create his invincible army. In response to this, we erected a doorway and threw the humans out. Do I press a button? Apparently I do. Even as we speak, many of my kind are trapped in the Empire's Magitech Research Facility, being drained of their powers. I fled here to avoid a similar fate. Oh yeah, we probably should like put her back in bed. That's right, relax. I sensed that Terra was in trouble. My magic summoned her here. Terra's an Esper? No, she's actually quite different. Terra looks like she's in pain. Her very existence strikes fear into her own heart. How can we help her? I'm not sure why some of these are in quotations. When she accepts this aspect of herself, I, th I think she'll be, be alright. We have to do something. Then free those of my kind, of my kind imprisoning Gustav's Magitech Research Facility. One of them can surely help her. If we find the Magitech Research Facility, you're sure we can find your people. The Magitech Research Facility, your people are... Like a coward, I escaped leaving the others there. It'll be the end for them. Or of them. What do you mean? Gestalt's methods are incorrect. You can't drain a live Esper of all, of all its power. It is only when we are reduced to Magisite that our abilities can be transferred in total. Pardon? When we transform into Magisite, our powers can be relocated. Magisite? That's what's left of us when we pass away. These are my comrades who fell while escaping the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. Could have warned us. Ow.
Old man, are you really gone? Maybe. Magicite. He traded his power so that others might live. So let's just leave from here. Okay, fine, we'll take it. Why are you doing this? We few can help save many. The War of the Magi must not be repeated. Receive the power, uh, the Magicite Ramu. Receive the Magicite Stray. Receive the Magicite Siren. Receive the Magicite Kieran. Notice that everyone now has ex has MP. This is because we now have access to espers, which also have MP costs. Espers are essentially summons in this game. You can use them. Uh, you can use each character to be equipped with one esper, and they can use that one esper once per combat to do various effects, like Ramu does a lightning elemental attack and so forth. But each esper also has other benefits. Um, you can learn skill. You can learn spells from each uh, magicite at a certain rate, depending on the spell. And also, some magicites will also give you bonus stats as you level up. So, needless to say, you can teach everyone magic now. It's You can teach every character in the game any spell you want as long as you have the espers to do it. Um, I've when I played it a lot on the uh, PS PlayStation 1, um, I taught four characters every spell in the game, and I taught every single character the most powerful spell in the game, and won the game that way. Um, in this case, in this playthrough, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to only use magic on characters that are designed to use magic. In other words, Celise, Terra, and two other characters that I'll explain later, even though technically they don't learn magic on their own. So the rest of the characters, they're going to be using their special abilities. So I'm going to be using Saban for Blitz, I'm going to be using Locke to be a useless stealing guy, I'm going to use Edgar for tools, and so forth. And for the most part, you can kind of get away, you can pretty much get away with that through the majority of the game. In fact, it's generally easier to use things like Edgar's um, tools and Saban's Blitz as long as you can, you know, input them correctly. So yeah, I'm going to be focusing magic on Solace and so forth. So, sorry guys, if you were hoping everyone is going to learn magic, that's not going to be happening. So for right now, I certainly wouldn't mind learning. I uh, want to go ahead and give you Ramu. This is just for the plus one stamina. And everyone else, the rest of them are going to not be used. Uh, I might equip Espers to characters just to give them uh, stat bonuses, but I will not use their magic if they do learn any spells. So that's the thing I'm going to do, be doing for myself. And now we're back with these guys. Everyone here? I was thinking. Let's talk on the way. The Empire is trying to drain magic from Espers. We That was so much fun. This can't be true, Silice. I don't remember because I was asleep when they augmented me. But I've heard rumors to that effect. Then we're going in. We best split into two groups. We still need to beef up our defenses in Narsh. Indeed. I'll go to the Empire. I know it well. But alone? Don't worry, I'll go with her. I guess we're stuck with Locke. Locke. You need a hand? So, yes, we have to use Celis and, or Solis and Locke in this one. And throughout uh, about half the game, you're going to be forced to use Locke a, a decent amount. And you'll probably end up using Solis quite a bit throughout the majority of the game as well. Um, it's a little annoying if you don't like Celise. I generally don't have any care for. I I don't. I generally prefer Celise because she's her runic ability is pretty good and she's a pretty cool character all around. I don't really care for Locke, as you probably have guessed. So my party doesn't change any. I'm still just going to use Edgar and Sabin. 
and then I'll just reshuffle the party once I get back together. Please wait for us in Narsh. We'll find our way back safely. If you wish to change group members, head for Narsh. So, how are we going to get there? The Empire is on the continent to the south. No boats go there. The people of Jador, a town to the south, could probably help us. Locke. Yes? Why are you coming with me? We always ask that. Well, there are bound to be treasures there. And besides, I've always wanted the, an inside look at the Empire. Yes, we're always going to be stuck with Block. Seems you have a piece of magicite. Want to learn more about espers? Let's go ahead and go over it. To use an esper, it must be equipped. Choose skills from the, the menu, then select espers. During battle, select magic and press up on the control pad. Press A to use the esper. Remember, esper can only be used once per battle. Learn magic. Learn new spells by equipping espers. Switch espers to learn different sets of spells. The higher the learning speed, the faster a spell is learned. When equipped, when equipped some espers will raise quality, strength, HP, MP, etc. to their maximum limit at the next level up. So yeah, that's going to be kind of my focus. I don't remember what- the, I know the max bat power is 255. I don't remember what the max of the other stats are. But we'll figure that out soon enough. Zozo, I've never heard of it. Gabalita does. So let's go ahead and show off. Oh, I don't have enough MP. Never mind. You guys don't see it. Ever. Well, next time I rest, I'll see if I'll show him off. Well, I'll show off one of them. Rama is probably the summons in this game. I don't know. They're, I find them not as powerful as regular spells. But if you don't have spell, oh. Also, notice that I gained two magic points. Um, the combats will I'll now... Pretty much every combat in the game will always give you ma uh, magic points. So, if we just got two magic points, so if you go under skills, go to Esperus, go to Ramu, notice that those two points converted into 20% uh, bolt, 4% uh, bolt 2, and 10% poison. And that's based off the learn rate. So, for times 10, every one point gives you 10 uh, percentage. And if you get 100%, you, you learn that spell. So there you go. Anyway, let's go ahead and head over to, you know, actually do things, find words. I'll find words eventually. Let's go and see if we can pick up a new uh, item uh, by solving that one puzzle. Oh, invisibility. Neat. Uh, the way invisibility works is you can't, unless you have a, the uh, sniper sight, you cannot hit them except with spells or special effects that don't that have 100% hit rate. Sorry, I wasn't like I suddenly just completely phased out and wasn't paying attention to the combat. Um, I will probably be doing some grinding after this video to try to get all the spells on Solis that I can right now. Sim mainly because I'm going to kind of have to, because Solis is my only caster. That's okay. Plus, knowing Bolt 2 is a very beneficial thing at this point in the game. God, jeez, getting beat up all around. Yay, I dropped. Stop, please reset the hour. Well, we know the hour. Because we already seen 2, 4, 8, 10, 12, so it's 6. Clock hand, uh, minute hands has stopped. This one we don't really know. It's obviously not, uh, 0. And I don't think it's 30. Forty or thirty. 
Well, I always know it's... We, we already know it's six. And I did... Twenty. And we know it's not twenty, thirty, forty, so... There we said the well. Can I guess it? Probably not. I'll try one more. Try twenty, let's try ten. Actually it said it was pointing to the two, so I'm pretty sure it's not right. So let's try forty. Clock. Oh well, I'll be right back and figure out what the clock is. Alright, found it. Good news is, I was uh, mostly correct. It is 6. The minute is 10. And then the second is 50. So I was mostly correct. Then you go up here, get the chainsaw. Chainsaw. Randomly dispatches an enemy used with a uh, tool command. Now, chainsaw can be a little unreliable. It does two things. It's very similar. It uh, it will either do a very powerful physical attack on a single target, or it'll do a single target instant death that can miss. So it can be very annoying fighting bosses because you can't instant kill bosses in most cases. So. But I would still use Chainsaw because it does lots of damage. It's pretty much the strongest uh, tool that Edgar can get. So go for it. Alright, so we're done here. Yay, goggles. Oh yeah, so at least it's like nearly dead. Three magic points. Yeah, magic points are a little weird. Um, you get... You can get a variable amount of magic points. Like that one enemy gave you three while fighting like a group of four enemies gives you only two. I'd like to show off the chainsaw, but we'll find a, like a single enemy to do it on or something. Well, sorry for the frame rate. So at least learn bolt, and I'm getting frame rate issues. Not sure why. Why not? Let's go ahead and show off the chainsaw. Yep, that's an instant death attack. If you get, like, the hockey mask, that's him doing an instant death attack, and if he spins, he's doing a physical attack. Level, so he's gained a level. Now, Celise gained a level, so along with her normal stat up, she also got an additional plus one stamina, which will make her a little bit more durable. That's because she's equipped with the Ramu right now. Also, if you take a look... Actually, if you look under the magic stuff, you can actually see the percentages here, which is kind of useful. If you have, like, a lot of espers, you kind of want to sort things out that way. So, we're on our way to learning poison. Um, Bolt 2 is going to take a bit. And the longest one that's going to be is going to be for Cure 2, because it takes uh, it's going to take 100 power uh, magic points to learn. But it's definitely worthwhile if you can get it going. So there you go. So enemies weak points, HP weak points, blah blah blah. Okay. So for now, we're going over here. And we got a long walk to go through, so let's get this started.
Mind candy. They're vulnerable to fire, apparently. And they can petrify. Now, a convenient thing is since, um... Solis is gonna be our spellcaster, I can give someone else the, uh, the rune blade if I really want to, and let them get the, uh, extra match da uh, crit damage using their MP, because they're not gonna be using their MP for anything else. But I'll have to figure that out once I figure out what else, some, whatever else I'm gonna be equipped with. In fact, for right now, let's go ahead and take off the gauntlet. We don't need it anymore. So we'll just equip that first. know where to go. We gotta go up here. Maria? Are you talking to me? Sorry, my mistake. Wow, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh boy, now I'm really, I really am in trouble. So Elise looks like Maria? Or uh, looks just like Maria? You're this. Okay, I already talked about that. Funny enough, um, you notice that she did that pose. If you switch the party leader to someone else, and when everyone comes back together, um, it'll be that the leader doing that pose, which can look very weird depending on who you're playing as the leader. That person dropped it off. He's the director of the opera here. Everyone just calls him Impresario. Uh, impresario. He's been in a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. My dear Maria, I want you uh, for my wife. I'm coming for you, the wandering gambler. Who's this wandering what's-his-name? You born on a farm, son? A blackjack playing, world traveling, casino dwelling, free spirit. Setzer. That's Setzer, owner of the world's only airship. If we could get that airship, we'd make the, uh, the make the empire in no time. Let's set up a meeting with Setzer. Yes. Okay. And you say the same thing. So Setzer has a cool theme music. And um, if you actually play the anthologies on PlayStation, um, and he actually has a pretty cool thing he does in the cutscene. But uh, other than that, uh, I actually completely forgot about Setzer. Like, I remember him every once in a while, but I don't really use him as far as characters are concerned. It's too much of a, I guess you can say, a wild card. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest. Now we can go ahead and head off to um, to the opera house now, because that's where we have to go next. Because Celius uh, looks just like the like the star of the show apparently, but I'm not gonna do that. And I have a little bit of time left, so I'll go ahead and show off some stuff. I'll show off Remu. As you can see, it doesn't do that much damage. That's Chainsaw. That's the other Chainsaw attack. I'm 
so that's why I don't really use the uh, summons. They're just not that good. Even the best summons in the game, like the strongest summons in the game, are just not worth it. You're better off just learning whatever spells they have, and then that's it. Um, Kieran uh, does a regen effect on everybody, but it's not actual regen, it's just a regen effect that can't be dispelled. It just wears off on its own. Uh, Siren does silence, Stray does confusion. For rather basic stuff that generally doesn't work or do anything. Oops, didn't mean to unequip it. So that's just about everything, and I really don't want to cut the F uh, this F uh, part so short, but I kind of want to go ahead and grind some uh, power points against the least I'll take care of. Um, what I'm probably going to be doing is heading all the way back to um, some place that doesn't have uh, very high level monsters so I don't over level or anything and just get the power points. You can fight the things all the way back at Narsh and you'll still get like one or two power po uh, magic points uh, per battle. So I'll be doing that and I'll get some time for you guys to catch up on the videos because I'm right now been just getting a nice little nest egg of videos prepared for this game and probably will use that time to prepare another LP. So, I am Deed Presti Or, and this was Final Fantasy VI. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.